Once upon a time, in a small village surrounded by whispering trees and glowing fireflies, there lived a little girl named Luna. She was curious, brave, and had the brightest smile in all the land. But what made Luna truly special was her love for the moon. Every night, she would sit by her window and talk to the big, round moon as if it were her best friend. One night, while Luna was sitting at her window, something magical happened. A soft beam of moonlight reached down from the sky and touched her hand. Luna whispered a gentle voice from the moonlight, I need your help. Luna's eyes widened in surprise. Who's there? She asked, looking around. It's me, the moon. Every night I light up the sky, but tonight, my light is fading because a cloud of sadness has covered the stars. I need you to come to the moon and help bring back their sparkle. Without hesitation, Luna agreed. Suddenly, the moonlight wrapped around her like a cozy blanket, and she began to float higher and higher up into the night sky until she landed softly on the moon. The moon's surface was like silver sand, and twinkling creatures called star sprites greeted her. They looked like tiny stars with wings, glowing softly as they flew around. Welcome, Luna, chirped one of the star sprites. We need your bravery to clear the cloud of sadness. It's hiding the stars. How can I help? Luna asked. The star sprites guided her to a towering mountain made of shimmering stardust. At the top, Luna saw the dark cloud swirling and rumbling like a grumpy giant. You'll need to make the cloud laugh, said a wise old sprite. Laughter is the only way to chase away sadness. Luna thought for a moment, then she had an idea. She reached into her pocket and pulled out a small feather she had found on the ground that morning. It was soft and tickly, just like laughter. Luna climbed the mountain and waved the feather at the cloud. At first, the cloud grumbled, go away. But Luna didn't give up. She tickled the cloud with the feather again, this time singing a silly song about dancing bears and twirling turtles. Suddenly, the cloud let out a deep rumbling laugh, ho ho ho. And as it laughed, it began to shrink and fade. Soon, it disappeared completely, revealing the sparkling stars behind it. Thank you, Luna. The moon beamed, you've brought joy back to the sky. The star sprites danced around Luna, and the stars twinkled brightly once more. Luna felt so happy, knowing she had helped. Before long, the moonlight wrapped around Luna again, and she floated gently back down to her home. When she opened her eyes, she was back in her room, lying by the window. From that night on, whenever Luna looked up at the sky, she could see the stars twinkling brightly, as if they were winking at her, saying, Thank you, Luna. And she always smiled, knowing that somewhere up there, the moon and the stars were her magical friends.